Hello, hello, and welcome to this pick a card reading. So today we're gonna talk about, you know, this pick a card's gonna be about what will dating them be like, okay? So what will it be like, okay? So pick one, okay, of the person that you feel that, you know, would resonate on the person you're dating. So think of a person you're dating and pick a card on what you feel that would resonate, <laughs> okay? So you can pause it right here, pick wisely, pick one that you feel that you're drawn to with your intuition, okay? Go ahead and pick it. Okay, now, so you could pause it here, but I'm gonna get started without further ado, okay? And please keep in mind that this is general, so it's best to kind of take what fits for you and what goes for you. So, pile number one, this is your reading. So, pile number one, what I'm feeling off of you for what this person will be like. Um, I think this person is a very assertive person, okay? Um, and I think you find that very sexy. Um, this person could be um, long distant or wherever it is. Um, I don't know, this person could like cats a lot. I don't know why that resonates. Um, but yeah, um, this person could like cats a lot. Yeah, I feel like they're from far away. Um, Knight of Cups, so they're very romancers, okay? So I definitely feel that this person, um, they're definitely romantic. Um, they're very adventurous, okay? They're people that are to themselves. I feel like this actually could turn into marriage. However, what I would say is to kind of take it slow with this person because um, I think they're kind of like battling a situation with, is it an ex-husband or somebody that's narcissistic in their life, okay? So I would say give this person time to heal and kind of process things. So yeah, um, what dating will be like for them is I think with you and this person would be very beautiful actually. Um, there will actually be a potential for a lot of growth out of this, um, a lot of prosperity out of this, okay? So three of swords. Wow, so this person's been heartbroken a lot. So, um, you know, what they will be like is they might be a little bit broken, okay? A little bit more needy than any other person. They will be very needy and very close to you. But I think that you will like that because, um, you know, you're, you've are you been through a lot too. And so together, it's kind of like, it feels good to be with somebody who relates to going through all the pain. Yeah, so I would say um, this person, they need a lot of time. They have a lot of aggression issues. Like they could get really aggressive sometimes, like really angry sometimes, but you will calm them, okay? So yeah, there is a potential for something really special with this connection. Oh yeah, manifestation. So you manifested this, okay? And they think that you're very wealthy and attractive, okay? So that's wonderful. Um, so what will dating, yeah, I feel like it would be a really wonderful journey. So good for you, pal, number one. So yeah, what will dating be like is um, I think it'll be very fun. I definitely see you guys going out a lot, um, definitely just enjoying yourselves overall, so that's really wonderful. I'm also seeing, um, probably, you probably could um, getting be getting into maybe having something together, like something special, like maybe like running a business or something special, because this person gives me Queen of Wands energy. So yeah, that's what I have for you, pile number one, on what dating would be like. As I said, you know, if it resonates with you, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, okay? So we're gonna move on to pile number two. So pile number two, queen of pentacles, right off the bat, this person will be very wonderful for you. Okay, pile number two, um, I'm telling you, this person is gonna be a knockout. Okay, this person's gonna be everything that you've ever dreamed of being with. So you've been hurt by a lot of people, pile number two. But let me tell you, baby, you're not gonna be experiencing any of that stuff anymore, okay? So um, what will dating them be like? God. It will be nothing but pure love and this is going to be like I, I really don't see that it's even dating I feel like you're gonna be married to this person okay so I don't I don't even see dating happening right here I see that marriage is gonna happen like just in an instant and it's because like you um, that's how twin flame relationships are like especially when they're this strong um, you know it just happens fast and you fall in love really fast because you know who they are, you know their soul. So, um, my God, she will be very good to you. It's funny because this person, you know, it's this is a very interesting trait about them from what's coming from the spirit realm. Um, is it from your ancestors? They say that this person, they're the type to where they give a lot and they don't know how to really take a break of giving. And so, um, you have to teach that person to have um, 
to give to themselves sometimes. Well, I think this person, they do give to themselves, but it's like sometimes they give too much, okay? So um, what you have to teach, you might have to teach them a little bit <laughs> in a relationship. That's the funny part. This is funny. So this person, they're very young in relationships, okay? So I feel like they've dated people, but like um, you need to kind of help them understand relationships because this person, <laughs> you're smiling, you're like, this is so cute. Yeah, so... It's like this person, they have a hard time understanding certain things like in relationships. So so if you see this person sitting down, they'll be like, so what does this mean? Like you, you're going to have to get used to that person. So like this person, they like to ask questions. <laughs> That's so cute. So this person, um, they will, so they will know how to love, right? But they won't, they're still trying to understand like, um, like, and they're loyal and everything, right? You already, I mean, right, you already know that. It's just this person, they don't know about life things, okay? Because this person, it's like they know a lot about knowledge, okay? They're smart, they're smart as fuck, okay? Pound number two, the person you're dating, um, you'll notice that this person's very smart, okay? They're very, um, very in tune, as they always have been from their past lives. Um, but this is what's funny, is, um, when it comes to love and stuff, they don't really understand that. So um, you kind of need to, um, I, I don't know, just be their like their father figure in their life, okay? For them to understand life things. So this person, <laughs> it's cute. This person, they have a hard time understanding like this world that, that they live in. So like they, they're just so stuck in their own world to where like they don't understand things about sometimes they don't understand things about bills and so forth and so um she has her uh this your twin flame has the brother take care of things okay so that's like her father figure in her life and so um um just know that you're needed okay so like the father um the 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 brother in this person's life or tigo resonates right um they love her very very much and um they feel like she is in need of a man that is kind of on the same level and um you see with the brother he doesn't like just anybody <laughs> he doesn't like so she's had a hard time with relationships because he's the one that chases them off <laughs> and i think you know that already you're like yeah I i've heard the stories <laughs> right so this person um they have their older brother take care of a lot of things in their life um but um they um they're going to rely on you okay so um because they're very young so that's funny so it's like this person they could do things but it's like they're still kind of learning okay so they need um so basically they need somebody to help guide them so in the relationship you will have to kind of be a guider in a way and i think you're perfectly fine though with that okay you're you're like oh okay i'm okay with that like her I i'm okay with that so that's good that you're okay with that but yeah um in the relationship this person they will be very giving to you okay they will be so giving to you um sometimes they will burn themselves out that's what they do when they um are in relationships is that um and that's why a lot of things didn't work is because with other people is because um she was always the one giving her full and um you know people just kind of give half a cup and um that's why she has been alone for a while okay i feel like this person has not been in a relationship for a really long time and it's because they've been working more on loving themselves um and the importance and realizing how important it is to love themselves um but yeah um so yeah dating them will be really nice um it will be very pleasant um, I definitely see that this is just like this is such a very grounded relationship that you're entering um, Pile number two and I think this is definitely marriage. Okay that I see that's that's, that's happening So um, what will date them be like they'll be Adorable actually, so I think that you will find this person very adorable actually because um, You will see how cute they are like they're so sweet and they're um, You will see like so this person is very sweet um, <laughs> this person, I don't know what's wrong with this person, but they like to do small things, okay? So, like, um, they don't like to do gifts, so, like, this person, they, like, I don't know, they're like a little kid, it's kind of cute, so they'll be like, um, I, I made a poem for you, <laughs> that's what this person does, 
<laughs> this is what this person does pile number two <laughs> is is they don't know how what you like okay so <laughs> they'll do that so pile number two this is what this person does is they're like oh well that's what they'll do is they they won't figure out what to give you <laughs> so they'll be like oh let me write a poem for him for, for them or <laughs> so so you you can expect them to do little things like that okay because that's just how they are they're like um they're just random okay <laughs> they do things that don't make sense but um that's really cute but yeah what you can expect out of this person is uh they're a romancer okay and this person loves to cook, uh, bake a lot. Okay, this well, this person doesn't do it often because they're lazy, <laughs> from what I heard. But um, they will love to um, take care of you. So as you take care of them, they will take care of you. Okay, but I'm seeing that you want to take care of them fuller because this person, you see this person works a lot, really hard. And um, you're kind of basically saying, baby, I'm going to take care of you instead. Like, you just relax. But, um, yeah, this person, they still might be a little resistant, be like, I want to work, like, not actually, like, work, work, but, like, at least do something. But, yeah, this is actually really, really cute. But, um, yeah, dating them, they'll be really silly, too, so you'll notice that. Um, but, yeah, that's what, um, I have for you, pound number two, is you're going to be dating a pretty interesting, cute person, okay? Let me know if that resonates with you. Give me a thumbs up, okay? So, um... Pile number three. Oh my god, this is so fucking funny. Oh my god. Pile number three. If you picked pile number two, then you obviously picked, like, another one. So, this fucking, oh my god. What did I post? Did I post the thing? Hold on, I need to check real quick. Oh my god. <laughs> so, what will be date? Okay. I need to tell you something, pile number three. <laughs> pile number three. This family that... So, okay. You are dating somebody, right? And I swear this... You've got to pick pile number two. Okay? you got to pick pile number two. Oh my god, I heard a telepathic message say, I'm very interested... I heard from the astral. Somebody's very interested in this pile three. Yeah, oh my god, there's people, oh my god. Pile number three, you're fucking, so, okay, so. <laughs> it's not that it's like you're fucking, it's not the person you're dating. It's the fucking family. <laughs> oh my god, these people are crazy. <laughs> these people are like nuts. Like, <laughs> like, I don't know, like, but I feel something about these people where they're like they're not crazy like in a in an aggressive way but they're crazy <laughs> like <laughs> they're fucking nuts okay so what will dating them be like <laughs> oh my god if you move okay oh my god so this person <laughs> they're a very family oriented person and these people are just, they are just crazy, okay? Like, these people, like, they do things that I don't know how to explain it, okay? I don't know. It's just like, spirits not v being very clear with me, but just know that they are fucking crazy, okay? There is stories, okay, with this person's family that you're gonna be married into, okay? Oh, you're gonna marry them, yeah. These people are like, they fucking do things, they love to prank people. They love to fuck control people. And this, what's funny is that you're, what will dating them be like is they love to fuck control people. So this person, it's funny because this person, they look really cute, but they love to fuck with people. <laughs> Not in a harmful way, but they just love to fuck with people. So this is what happens is she, this person is born in a family, right? But this is a big family of them. And, oh my god, if you get all of them together, they are fucking troublemakers. They cause fucking trouble. Oh my god. So yeah, they, that's what I'm reading here, is that you can expect dating them that these family, 
that she's in, she's gonna be around her family and you're gonna see the stuff that she does with that family <laughs> you're gonna hear stories and look 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 you're gonna hear things and you're gonna be like what in the fuck and and, and all I can tell you all I can tell you this is this is such a weird a weird family because nobody was punished really nobody was punished it's like it's just a bunch of fucking devil ass kids and they still are that's the crazy part is these kids so you have to understand that this family that you that your wife's born into they are nuts they are fucking crazy so what will they in them be like a crazy fucking family they are fucking crazy like, I think I can't wrap my head around about how crazy you are. They don't even... See, that's the thing. Is that your ancestors are trying to... I'm trying to ask them, what do you mean crazy? I want to know. But they don't want to say nothing. They just say that you can find out yourself. But the page of sword is, these people are fucking... Spirit's not telling me. They say that you need to find out on your own. That's the fucked up part. They say, that they say no, we're not going to tell you nothing. You just find out what dating her is like and you experience. Can't believe that. So, yes. Oh, my God. So, what else will dating them be like? All you got to know is they just got a fucking crazy family. But overall, you will have a good time marrying them. And you know that. Give me a thumbs up if that resonates.